Hey guys, Alex here. Welcome to Office Hours. Have you heard the buzz about people using AI to create 3D models? We've been seeing a ton of questions lately about how people can and are using artificial intelligence and 3D modeling together. So if you wanna know more or you're looking to try it out for yourself, today we're gonna to dive into two of the most popular free options out there and show you what's possible, what's practical, and what the future may hold. Keep watching. You've probably seen some of the stunning, mind-boggling images that people are creating with AI these days. And then there's the amazing renderings people can produce from traditional 3D modeling software. But did you know that people are actually combining the two together, using AI to help create, edit, and animate 3D models? Let's talk about how you can try this out for yourself, for free, even if you have little or no experience using AI or 3D modeling software, starting with getting set up with the right tools. For the purposes of this video, we'll be talking about two of the most popular free options out there for both AI and 3D modeling, ChatGPT and Blender. But don't let the price tag fool you. Both of these are insanely robust and powerful tools. Let's talk about how to get up and running in Blender first. Blender is an open source software for everyone from creative professionals to hobbyists with amazing tools for 3D modeling, sculpting, creating photorealistic and highly stylized images and animations, plus a whole lot more. To get it, just open up your web browser and visit www.blender.org. Click Download Blender and follow the steps to download the correct version, depending on your operating system. In your Downloads folder, if you're on a Mac, double-click the DMG file to mount the disk image, and then drag the Blender app icon into the Applications folder to install. If you're on a Windows machine, double-click on the installer file, then follow the steps to install it. If you're on Linux, I've added a link to Blender's reference docs in the video description, in case you run into any unexpected issues. All right, navigate to the folder where you installed the application and launch Blender. You'll see a welcome screen. It may be a little different than what you see here, depending on the version of Blender you download, as Blender releases frequent updates. But the core functions we're covering will work just the same. You can click once away from the welcome banner and you're ready to go. All right, next, let's talk about ChatGPT. What is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is an advanced AI-powered chatbot developed by a company called OpenAI. ChatGPT is trained on vast data sets to mimic human conversation, but where it gets really cool is that you can actually ask ChatGPT to write and compose unique things based on its machine learning. From stories, to poetry, to essays, even computer code. And that's how we're able to interface with Blender to use AI to do our 3D modeling for us. To get started, head to chat.openai.com. Sign up if you don't already have an account. And once you're logged in, you'll see a welcome screen with a text field to type a message. Now, real quick, I should mention that while it's free to sign up and use ChatGPT, there's also a paid option called ChatGPT+, which gets you priority access to the new features and latest version of the machine learning model, which at the time of publishing this video is GPT-4, a more advanced version of ChatGPT than you currently get with a free account, which is GPT version 3.5. I'll talk more about the differences and improvements between the two later in this video. But for now, let's go over the basics using the free version, since the process you'll follow is the same regardless of the version of GPT you're using. All right, how to use ChatGPT and Blender together. Now you're probably already imagining all the exciting possibilities, like render me a three bedroom house on the beach or animate a robot walking. But hold on, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's dial it back and quickly cover the practical fundamentals of how to actually use these two programs together. To do that, let's ask ChatGPT to build us something super basic in Blender, and then we'll go from there. Now, as I mentioned earlier, ChatGPT is able to write computer code, or what's called a script, which Blender can interpret. So in our browser window, let's ask ChatGPT to write a Blender script that creates a gold ball. You'll see ChatGPT print out a block of code, along with a short explanation of what it created. The interesting thing to note here is that ChatGPT's responses will vary, even when asking the exact same question. So if you're following along at home, your responses will look different than mine. Also note that I included the word script in my question. That's because if you just ask ChatGPT to create or model something in Blender without asking it to write a script specifically, it will sometimes respond with step-by-step -step instructions of how to build it yourself, which is also pretty cool, but not what we want for the purposes of this video. Okay, let's copy the code block by going to the upper right-hand corner and clicking copy. Then in Blender, let's delete the default cube. So we start with a blank slate. To do that, select the cube and hit X on your keyboard and click to confirm. Now, in the upper right, select the scripting tab. Click where it says new, then in the text area, press Ctrl V on a PC or Command V on a Mac to paste the script you just copied from ChatGPT. Click the run button and in the upper left corner, you'll see what the script is created. If you click on the layout tab, it'll get you back to a full view. 
Now our ball doesn't look gold, but that's just because of Blender's default view. If we click this icon for material preview across the top, now we see the color. All right, we just created a 3D model in Blender using AI. Of course, this is a super simple example and I'll admit probably a little underwhelming, but there's actually a lot to unpack here. First, now that you know the basic method, you can go back and forth between ChatGPT and Blender to experiment with creating more and more complex and interesting things. But a word of warning, oftentimes the things you ask ChatGPT to build in Blender simply won't work, and you can waste countless hours struggling to get the results you're after. Why? Well, one of the main reasons is that ChatGPT's learning model is only trained through 2021. So changes to Blender since then may cause ChatGPT's script to reference something outdated. Another key factor is, just like a human writing code, the more complex the problem, the more code ChatGPT has to write, which means there are more chances for it to make a mistake that causes the script to fail. Now, one thing to know is that you can sometimes work with ChatGPT to overcome these issues. For instance, if a script fails, try copying the error message and pasting it into your reply to ChatGPT. It will try and fix the code. Again, just know that for more complicated requests, even the fixes often fail. But actually, the best way you can help ChatGPT is to learn some of the fundamentals of Blender before you try to use ChatGPT and Blender together. Being familiar with the names of the tools and features, as well as the fundamentals of how modeling and the basic tools work in Blender, makes creating effective prompts for ChatGPT much easier. Take our gold ball, for example. It looks pretty faceted and plain, but knowing your tool settings and terminology in Blender allows you to prompt ChatGPT in a way that can get you closer to the end result you're after. If you're completely new to Blender, I definitely recommend checking out our Getting Started with Blender video before experimenting with your own prompts, as it covers many of the basic features and tools you'll want to be familiar with. I've added a link in the description. Okay, but what about having ChatGPT create me that three-bedroom house on the beach, or that walking robot? Unfortunately, in practical terms, it's not quite there. Yet. But let's talk about these more complex tasks ChatGPT Plus and where this is all going, because it's pretty interesting. Remember when I mentioned that paid version of ChatGPT with a more advanced version of their AI, GPT-4? Well, it turns out that this new version does a remarkably better job at creating working scripts for Blender when it comes to more complex prompts. And while it's still not a magic wand that, voila, creates super polished outputs, let's talk about what it does do effectively and what that means for you. First, while I was unable to get a working script out of the free version of ChatGPT on GPT 3.5 for either a house on the beach or a walking robot, using ChatGPT Plus with version 4 produced a script that did work in Blender for both. Unfortunately, this is what it created for my house on the beach. And this is what it created for a simple robot walking. Not exactly what I was after. But that being said, there's some pretty interesting stuff going on here. First, you can see in the ChatGPT response that the logic is there in terms of how it sets out to accomplish this task. Where it fails is in scripting the execution. Then again, I'm asking it to do something really complex here. Similarly, but slightly less complex, I also asked GPT-4 to write a Blender 3.4 script that animates nine planets orbiting around a sun, write a Blender script that animates the game Pong, and write a script to create a 3D model of a car in Blender. While the results are pretty rudimentary, they're also pretty amazing when you think about the fact that all I did was ask an AI to create these things for me in one sentence, and potentially really helpful when I think about how much longer it would have taken a seasoned Blender user to manually create similar examples using Blender alone. And again, these are tasks that simply failed when asking ChatGPT 3.5 the same things. That's why I think some of the crazy hype around AI and 3D modeling is actually kind of valid. While in its current form, some of these results may feel a little underwhelming, keep in mind that this type of AI is still super new, and the idea of using it together with 3D modeling is even newer. And not only is the AI itself constantly improving, but as more people start to use this type of scripting approach to combine AI and Blender, the more Blender developers will continue to streamline and improve the way in which the two interface together. And who knows, maybe it's not so far off that ChatGPT will be designing you that three bedroom house on the beach. All right, so now that you know the basics of how to use ChatGPT and Blender together, what's next? Try out your own prompts and ideas and leave a comment below about the things you create and discover. Then check out one of the videos in this playlist where we cover everything from the fundamentals you need to know to use Blender the right way to tips on how to avoid the frustrating mistakes that often trip people up or cause them to waste a ton of time when setting out to learn Blender. Got Blender questions you want us to answer in a future office hours? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, happy blending.